Good morning. I was sitting here just thinking about the card and and thinking about ways I could do it differently. And all of a sudden, I looked up and it's 10 o'clock. So, I'm glad you're here. I'm Stampin' Dee Dee, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Denton, Texas. And I am here on Stampin' Thursday to show you how to do this adorable card. Now, I saw this online, and I'd been trying to think of a way to use these effervescent elements. They're little clear balls. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can get it open without spilling them everywhere. And I bought them to do a shaker card with, but I had not, I'm just not creative that way. I couldn't come up with a way to use them. And then I saw this and I have been playing with the Hippus Hippos stamp set. This stamp set, it is still available on celebration for mm, five more days, six more days. Celebration ends August 31st, but this is still available. You can get the stamp set if you purchase $50 worth, and then you can get the coordinating dies for another $50 purchase. So, for $100 in products, you get this adorable set. The dies, there's the, the hippo dies, and there's splashes of water. There's a tub and a boat and an umbrella and greenery and a party hat and glasses and goggles. Where's my goggles? There's the goggles. Um, a snorkel. Uh, there's just so many different ways that you can use this stamp set and this die set. So we're going to use that today. And maybe next week I'll show you some of the other ways. Um, once you've gotten this, hopefully you've gotten this, you'll, you'll have this by then. And I'm going to show you some other ways that I have used them on cards. But for today, I pretty much, I cased this from another demonstrator. Um, I just, I changed the base of the card. I changed... Not a whole lot more. The way I colored the, the the boat and the sentiment and the embellishments I used. I changed a few things. But the basic idea came from, I believe it's Cherie on Stampin' Online. So thank you so much um, for your inspiration. All right. Let's see. Hi, Kay. I'm so glad you made it today. I think you're gonna love this card. And it's not hard and there's no fussy cutting. <laughs> so, all right, let's look at, um, I do wanna tell you about some upcoming events. Starting the first week in September, I'll be introducing my September monthly class to go. And for that class, let me get it out. I'll be using this class to go. I'll be using the all bundled up stamp set. This stamp set is so cute and it doesn't have dies. It's just the stamps. But there are so many cute ways you can do this, both Christmas and non-Christmas. And along with that, I didn't get it out. I'll be offering as an add-on the um, Snowflake Specialty Vellum for $10 and the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. Um, that This is the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. And I'll be using both the Snowflake Vellum and the Puff Paint on at least one of the cards. And so I'm offering that as the add-on. It's $14.50 for the add-on. Um, and I think you'll enjoy both of those products. So that's coming up the first week in September. And then on September 6th, which is a Tuesday night, 
I'm doing a Facebook Live. And I've decided once a month to start doing one of these because sometimes I get these stamp sets and these die sets and I look at it and I'm like, How, what's this piece used for? And I go looking and searching for, and you know, some ideas on how to use it, but it takes time to do that. And sometimes I never do find out what to do with that piece. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to work a little harder and I'm going to unwind these sets and do a Facebook Live on Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock to a different set each month. And so starting off um, September 6th at 7 o'clock, we're going to look at the Christmas Barn Bundle. And so it's one of the new Christmas sets in your mini catalog. And I want to explore with you how to use that bundle. We'll use every piece of that bundle, every die, every stamp. And then I'll show you some card samples. We'll not be making a card per se, but we'll kind of be putting one together in the sense that we're going to look at all the different pieces. Then on September 10th, which is a Saturday, I'm hosting here in my home, or as a to-go option, a stamp -a stack And we're going to do that Saturday morning. And you'll make four different cards using different stamp sets and a 3D project. So you want to put that on your calendar. And if you can't make it in person, then um, you consider the to-go option. And you'll, you'll see more about that on the website. And then September 24th, we're going to have a snow day. You know, school kids have snow days. Well, we're going to have a snow day, even though it's still September. But we're going to create five snow cards using a variety of stamps and sets. So put that on your calendar as well, September 24th. And um, I'll, you'll hear more about these. Of course, all our Facebook Lives are on Thursday morning at 10, and now with once a month on Tuesday evenings at 7. So, all right, let's get to it. So, we're going to use another celebration product. These, this is the Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Cards and Envelopes. So, the envelopes are already decorated for you, color-coordinated. Um... And the cards, there's some in the soft sea foam and some in the pool party. So I'm using one of those. And this on this card, I used the pool party. On this one today, I'm going to use the soft sea foam. I just wanted to give it a little bit different look. I'm still using the pool party front. So you don't get a whole lot of the front of the card base except you get it through the window that we're going to create. All right. So I have already die cut all of the pieces for this card because I didn't want to spend time doing that. So I have those here. We are, however, going to go ahead and color them together. Um, but it's it'll be simple. Um, I didn't want to take the time coloring but we're gonna do the little hippo first and we're just gonna do him in gray we're gonna do him in smoky slate and I always start when I used blends and if I'm going to shadow or shade at all I always start with the light and different people do it different ways but I always start with the light so I'm gonna go around the eyes go ahead and get that done and all of it is going to be the same, so I don't have to color around everything, except I'm just going to do the top of the ear. Just the top of the ear. Now, we're going to do the whole snout, I guess. Is that what you call the front of the hippo? The, the face part of the hippo? I don't know. But we're going to go around his mouth. Her. It's a her. We're going to make her into a her. All right. We're going to do this. Now, you'll also notice 
on the card that not all of her shows. So we don't have to color all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna go around the fingernails because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do her nails. All right, and I'm just gonna go down like that far. That's all we need. But I am gonna come back now with my dark with the the pencil point and I'm going to add in just a little bit of shading there and under the chin. Any place where there might be a shadow to fall. Okay. So then I come back with the light and blend that out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And you'll see the shadow, the shading begin to form. And of course, as it dries, it'll look a little bit different. Blend that out. So I really don't want a line there. I just want the shading to show. All right. Now I'm gonna go around with the light, just a little, just again on the face. Every layer that you add makes it just a tiny, tiny bit darker because I have to hold my breath. Do you hold your breath when you <laughs> when you do this? All right. Mm, I think I'll go on and color it. And then I'm going to come back with my color lifter. And right here at the top where the light would hit, I'm just going to lift a little bit of that color. Just a little bit. And maybe right here at the very top where the light would hit, lift a little bit of that color too. All right. Now we're also gonna do the boat in, this, in the smoky slate. I just, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Oops, wrong tip. So we're just gonna boat is planked and I'm gonna highlight those planks in a minute. So I'm keeping my strokes going the direction of the planks. I wanna make sure I've got my edges here. All right, now I'm gonna come back with the darker one and I'm just gonna come right along the plank When you die cut it, you'll see the plank. And then I'm gonna do the edge. Now the edge I'm gonna shade, but I'm not gonna shade the planks. I'm gonna shade this edge a little bit. And the back. Create a little bit of a shadow. So we're gonna shade this. And get rid of that line. And shade this just a little bit. All right, got our boat, the propeller <laughs> is also going to be the gray.
Actually, I'm going to darken it. I, I want it darker. Should have done the dark first. I just already had the light in my hand. All right, there we go. Now, oh, and you know, I did, um, one thing I'm changing, after I did this one, I thought, you know, I wish I'd done the umbrella in the same color as her hair piece. So, I switched to Orchid Oasis for the umbrella. So, we're going to do the umbrella in the Orchid Oasis. It's one of our new in colors this year and it's just such a pretty color it's it's a cross between a, a lavender and a blue I mean it's you hold it up against lavender and you see the blue you hold it up against blue and you see the lavender all right see yeah I can see where I've okay all right and then I'm gonna just put the lines in there and I'm gonna darken the center part you know what I forgot to do I'm going to go turn on my light. I do not have the light on in this room, and I thought, why can't I see? All right. Get some light in here. Now, man, how much difference that makes. I couldn't see those lines. All right. And I'm going to do the base of the umbrella. I did it in gray before. And this time I'm going to do it in Bermuda Bay. Just change it up a little bit. The, the, all right. Now I'm going to do the base of the umbrella. So there's our umbrella. And our little life preserver just has the slightest touch of blue and there and there and there and there not much and then our water is Bermuda Bay The wave around the boat. What? I don't think I'm going to have to get a new Bermuda Bay blender pen. Okay. Now, I'm just going to come back. And highlight the wave. Make sure I get all the white covered up. One more time. All right. We've got our all of our pieces co colored now. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our card front and I'm using one of the circles from the Stylish Shapes and I'm going to put my window opening right about here. And I want it centered toward the top a little bit because I want room for my um, cinnamon at the bottom. So I'm going to run this real quickly. I have to use the larger cutting emboss. So I'm going to run this through real quickly. All right. 
So we don't need that die anymore. Now I'm gonna hold on to this center piece. I'm gonna fold and burnish my card front. I'm gonna position this. Let me get my pieces just moved up here just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna position this where I want it. Just centered, basically. And sometimes I have to use my take a pick tool to move pieces around because my fingers don't seem to catch them. All right. I think I've got it centered. All right, and then I'm going to put a little piece of adhesive. Just the tiniest little piece. Oops, let me get my cover off. Right where this is, just to hold it down. Just hold on. Just going to use a little piece of adhesive right there and take this off. All right, and now we're ready to create our shaker window. And I'm going to use the foam adhesive strips. I'm going to take one of these. Take the cover of it off and cover one of the sticky parts. All right, set these aside. Don't let those. Okay, so with the sticky side down, now I'm just going to go around the outside of your circle. How easy is that? Now, you don't want it on the circle. You want it on the out, outside, leaving a little bit of space. And it should meet that one right there. Right there. Make sure it's down. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and add some dimensionals around here as well. But I'm gonna put them in some so they be sure and catch the card front. Okay, put one here. Here. I'm going to move this one down a little bit because I don't want it to, I want it to catch the card front and not the window sheet. And one more. I have one, I have, still have one more left on this thing. All right. All right, now we can take this piece up. We don't need that anymore. Didn't use such a tiny bit, I guess, there. All right. Now, we're going to put our embellishments in here. And you don't want to be stingy with these. There's plenty in there, and they go everywhere. They're little bitty balls, but I try to catch them. 
You want it really a little more than half. Whoa, that one got away. Okay, that's a little more than half. All right. And now we're ready to put our window sheet down. Where did I put it? I was so careful to keep up with it. <laughs> oh, because I get lost. All right. And I just, the window sheets come in 12 by 12. And I believe there's two of them in there, but my goodness. I mean, that's what I've used so far. They go a long way. All right, I've trimmed it down so that it would not overlap my dimensional. All right, now let me get the top off of this. Exposing the other sticky side. I'll put the window sheet down. There it is. Now we have our we have our shaker. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, that is so fun. All right, now let me get the pieces off of this. I could also use my take a pick tool, but I'm being lazy right now and just getting it off this way. And that one already came off. So now I'm ready to put this down and I just want to get it as centered as possible. over the window sheet and over the front of the card. That does it. There we go. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't stamp it. Please come up. Please come up. <laughs> please, 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 please come up. This is where I mashed it down the hardest. Come on. You can do it. All right. Um, except I pulled up three dimensionals with it. So I'm going to take these off. Well, I need to get these off so that I can stand. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, if I didn't make a mistake, you'd wonder what was wrong, right? All right, now I'm going to use the black memento. I'm using the Amazing Phrases, Amazing Phrasing Set, which is also a celebration item. You have a week left. This is also a celebration item. It has the large words and then the smaller sentiments that go with it. This is going to my granddaughter, who is a freshman at Texas A&M. And I just want to send words of encouragement to her. And I plan to do that often. So it really motivates me <laughs> in my card making. Um, she'll love this. She'll absolutely love it. All right, I think I got the black ink on. Oh. So I want to put... You are amazing. So I'm going to put the amazing right there. There it is. So I'm going to put that over there. And then the you are is ready to go. And I'm going to put it right here. 
Oh, all right. Do you have times, like I do often, when things just don't stamp perfect? So for those times, I keep both my Stampin' Right marker, black Stampin' Right marker, and I keep the Micron 01 Signo black pen. It's got a tiny, tiny point. And it's perfect for little areas. And then my Stampin' Right marker, there were just a couple of little areas right here that didn't quite fill in. You know, they weren't just perfect. Really, that was it. All right. So I keep my markers handy for that. That's one of the reasons I keep them handy. All right. Now, we're going to have to... <laughs> do you do this? Do you use your bits and pieces? I use my bits and pieces. Always. Always, always. All right. There we go. And hopefully, that will be enough to get this little jewel on here now. <laughs> now, let's see if I can get it straight again. That's always my challenge when I do videos, is to get things straight. Because I'm usually at an awkward angle. All right, here we go. All right, now we're going to build our um, hippo. And the first thing I'm going to do is attach him to the boat. Or her. I keep going him, and it's actually her. I'm going to attach her to the boat. And I forgot to do her nails, so I'm going to come back. I also see where I didn't get the white right there. And then her nails are Calypso Coral. Should have done this before I put her in the boat, but that's okay. And then the inside of her ear is actually the light Calypso Coral, as is her mouth. All right. So we've got our boat. We're going to put our boat on here. Just going to use a little bit of adhesive. Whoops. Deanna, did I grab the... I did. I grabbed the wrong one. The Stampin' Seal Plus is very strong. It's very strong. And it will peel your paper off if you're not careful. And I didn't mean to grab the Plus. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to put her right here. I'm going to put the wave with a couple more dimensionals on each end. Dimensional here and a dimensional here. I'm using the minis for this. And then adhesive right in the middle. just going to put that wave right there. We're going to put the propeller with a little bit of liquid glue. Put 
put the propeller right there. Got a little bit of extra glue on it. All right, and then the little lifeboat of the life preserver. <clears throat> Doesn't need much. It's going to go right here. And the umbrella is going to go right here. So I just need a little bit of liquid glue right there. So I'm going to put this right here. There we go. Is that not adorable? Now, I had the bow. Here's the bow. I made it ahead of time because if anything is going to go wrong making a bow, it's going to go wrong when I'm doing it live. So I thought, nope, not going to do that. Fold that under a little bit. Put her little hair bow right there. Is that not adorable? Is that not adorable? I've got my thing scooted up. All right. So all we have left are a few little gems to spread around. And at the bottom, I'm going to use the adhesive backed sequins and gems. Adhesive backed sequins and gems. And I'm going to put those, just three of those, at the bottom. They're um, the pool party color. So they'll look really good down here. And then at the, on the top part, I wanted it to look a little bit like raindrops since she's got her umbrella. And I mean, we can see the raindrops behind her. <laughs> so these are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. And I'm gonna use three of those. So I'll take this one and put it right here. I'll put one here, whoops, one right there, and one on the other side. About up there. All right, we are finished. We are finished with our card. We are finished, is that not adorable? and easy to make and these these hippos oh my goodness i i just couldn't figure out another way to do them um to do this the hippo was just too cute so i hope you enjoyed that they're just a little bit different not a whole lot and you know i kind of like the contrast that the green inside the shaker window makes the blue, it looks more like the sky, but I like the contrast. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that you will make your own shaker card. By the way, here's a cute envelope that goes with this that said I actually ordered, made sure that I had two packages of those cards because they're so cute. The um, the um, soft sea foam and the pool party note cards and envelopes. All right. I'm looking to see if there's any questions. Thank you. I see my husband is on here too and watching. And <laughs> all right. Well, I hope that you will, um, especially if you're watching the replay. Oh, I'm finding lots of little, <laughs> lots of these little balls. So I just, I try to catch them and put them up. You know, that's me. I'm, I'm that person. But um, I hope you'll attempt the shaker card and I can't wait to try it in different ways. Now that I've been inspired 
to do it, um, now I, I'm going to go look for other ways to make this shaker card. And I hope that you will do that too. So thank you. If you're watching the replay, please just comment that you're watching the replay. I would love to know that you're doing that. And if you make a card, I would love to see a photo of it. And you can post it on my group page, Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings and Designs. You can post it on there. You can post it on my blog, Stampin' Dee Dee's spot.blogspot.com I was looking for my here's my blog and everything I do I post again on my blog and I post the link to the video so be sure and go there and in the comments share a picture of what you did I would love to see it I will mention that the Summer Picnic Basket Challenge is almost over. So anytime you have commented and or um, participated in one of the workshops or ordered something online or commented or posted a photo, um, if you've joined my blog, um, anytime if you followed my blog, anytime you've done one of those things, your name goes into the picnic basket and at the end of August so in less than a week I'll be drawing to see who wins a stamp set okay I will say that your name is in there a lot because you are so faithful to comment and to participate and um, your name is in there a lot but there are a lot of other names in there too so thank you for participating and um, good luck. Thank you for watching, and God bless you. Bye-bye.